you leave, please fill out your evaluation forms. We really appreciate that. The synchrony lens, all the data is now into the FDA, so I, I can't really discuss the data, but I want to show an animation of the lens going in. It's a dual optic accommodating IOL. It has a, a, a 32 diopter plus power anterior optic. It's a silicone lens with those bridges, the silicone bridges between the optics connecting the, myop, the myopic, the negative power IOL, which is in the back. The negative power IOL changes, and that's how the overall uh, optical power is, is varied from patient to patient. And you can see the, the lens getting inserted where the posterior optic gets implanted first, followed by the anterior optic that trails. Comes with a, a preloaded injector that's pretty easy to use. Now this shows the accommodation. We'll show it a couple times, but you can see the separation between the lenses increasing with stimulation of the fellow eye for near. So that's the actual movement of the lens. The optics, the optics involved, if you can get a, a millimeter and a half of anterior translation, a separation of those, of those lenses, you can anticipate a three and a half diopter ability to accommodate. So that's pretty good if you can get that millimeter and a half. What the data international data showed, and again the FDA data, I can't, I can't discuss that, but, but the international data showed that eyes seem to do very well, probably about, you know, most of the eyes are seeing 20-20 up to somewhere around arm's length. In terms of flat out reading, most patients binoc binocularly implanted will be able to read with the synchrony lens. Over time, the results have been stable and seemingly unaffected by a YAG capsulotomy. One of the neat things about this lens has been the very low incidence of posterior capsular opacific opacification. What we think is happening is that because the, the bag is so distended, the, epithelial, the lens epithelial cells don't get a chance to, to migrate posteriorly. And in addition, there's fluid flow through between the optics of the lens, which seems to prevent further seeding of, of lens epithelial cells. This video, you can show this video, uh, kind of go way forward though. This is my very first case. Just advance, advance, advance if you can. Keep going, keep going. I just want to show the lens going in. 